Hey, a few months ago, I built this gate into my Japanese garden. Today, we're going to build a fence. When I built the gate, I didn't use any metal, just wood fasteners. And to the best of my ability, that's what we're going to do going forward. So our first stop was at my local bamboo store. They had these rolls of split bamboo fence, very dirty and old, but they just gave them to me for free. So I loaded up a few and off we go. I'll be using these for panels for my gate, but the first thing we gotta do is open them up, clean them off. Like I said, they're pretty old and dirty. Headed for the trash can. So I cut them into shape. I'm just using a hose and some steel wool. I scrubbed them down as best I could. Worked pretty good, got rid of a lot of the old dirt. I decided to make the panels three layers thick, so here they are. Shined up, looks good. I wanted to make a more decorative top to my gate. So I'm using this old fence board that I've sanded up. It's about 30 years old. And I'm cutting a channel into a four by four. I cut the four by four diagonally so it looks like a little pyramid. And when I get that channel cut out, the fence board should fit in perfectly. So there's gonna be a lot of dust wrapping my face up. And here we go. This is not the right tool to use for this job. I'm cutting a channel with an angle grinder. If you wanna do this, you should find something else. Maybe a router or just simple wood chisels like I'll get to in a moment but I gotta use the tools I have. And here we go, here's what the channels look like. Now I'm using this two by four as a separator. Wood chisel will get the job done. But as you can tell, I am quite an amateur, learning as I go. But my goal here is to fit my bamboo panels in these slots as well. And here we go, my fence board fits perfectly. So my goal remains to use no metal fasteners when attaching the fence to the gate. So I'm using some dowel. I'm cutting a slit here in the top, so when I put the dowel in, I can put a little shim, hammer it into it, make sure it stays in place. Now to repeat, I am an amateur. This whole idea, I just kind of made up in my head and went for it. When I thought something might be cool, I tried to do it. And if it worked, yes. And if it didn't, oh well. I didn't really watch any videos or read anything about how to do it. I just looked at a couple of pictures and tried to recreate what I saw. Now here's the only place I had to use some metal when attaching the gate to the house. 
I just couldn't come up with a way to do it only using wood. So here I'm drilling a couple of pilot holes with a screw so I can more easily put in the bracket later. I've got a drainage channel here, kind of a French drain style, some boulders in a ditch right up next to the house. So I'm building the fence a little bit above it to make sure there's plenty of room for water to get out. I'm using this level to try and make things as straight as I can. And it's sort of helping me to find out where the middle of this beam is so I can drill a hole right into it and attach it with that dowel. The channel on top of this beam is where I'm gonna put my bamboo paneling. I took my three pieces and tied them all together and they fit perfectly in that channel. I've got the same kind of channel on a two by four that I'm gonna use at the top. And when I put the panels in there, with this guy on the bottom and the two by four on the top, holds it in, snug as a bug in a rug. I love it when a plan comes together. I drilled a hole through my gate post and I'm using it as a guide to get a hole started in this lower beam. I want to make sure it's kind of deep so that dowel has a lot to hold on to. This was one of the hardest parts, getting that bracket attached underneath this beam. Oh man, a tiny little space. I wanted to make sure where I did use metal, you wouldn't be able to see it. Now this dowel is fastening these two pieces together perfectly. There's a little gap, but that's all right. We'll get that shim in there to hold it in place. Now this is also an improper use of a power tool, but I had to trim down my bamboo paneling. It was incredibly hard to cut. I couldn't do it with a saw or any kind of hand clippers. So again, this is the tool I had. It worked, but it wasn't ideal. Now I sanded all the pieces of the fence to get rid of any marks the measurements I used on the marks on the dimensional lumber make it nice and smooth. Here's my 30 year old fence boarding getting sanded up. It looks pretty good actually. I kind of like that weathered feel it gives you. 
And I'm just using one piece to square up the end of another piece. I'll be putting something of a shingle-style roof up above the top. I need some pieces that are the same size. So I'm measuring them against each other. Now you can see I've got my bamboo paneling in, held in place by that 2x4, which I attached with a dowel. And I'm fitting in this piece of fence board on the top. I've got my cap piece. And again, you can see where I needed to use a little metal bracket. But once we get this installed, everything should be held tight. I'll use a dowel on the gate side. Just lining everything up as best I can and use my big meat hands as a hammer. You might be thinking, that metal bracket is super obvious. Don't worry, I'm gonna cover it up. Drilling through the gate post so I can fit my dowel right in and lock everything into place. I found this part particularly satisfying. Cutting the end of the dowel off, sanding it flush, like it was hardly even there. Beautiful. Well, it's time to put on my little roof. So I'm using these boards to try and level each other and drill in a pilot hole because this old wood will split into pieces if you just try and drive a nail in it. There's the other place where I used metal. My carpentry skills aren't quite good enough to figure out how to attach this with some sort of joint work. So I used a couple of brads. Well, the good thing is they're so small you can barely see them. Here we go, a shiny new fence for the Japanese garden. Now I may put a roof on top of the gate at some point. And we'll hang some Noren curtains here in the gate. I'll show you that when we do it. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.